Well, getting past traumatic experiences through the help of art, it's the mission of a new nonprofit in Onslow County. Nine on your side's Ken Watling paints the picture of how one woman is making a difference in this week's People in Places. It looks like a regular storefront on the outside, but there's so much more to this Richlands Art Studio. We want to offer a, a nice, safe, secure, enjoyable place for people to come spend some time. The borrowed artist is the brainchild of artist Malia Torres. Here you can get lessons from her or schedule a paint party with more than a dozen of your friends. But for Torres, this space is about so much more. I was working on Camp Lejeune for the last six years and as an artist I came to meet a lot of my Marines that I dealt with that were um, interested in art and had some PTSD issues. Artwork in a structured environment can be very uh, self-esteem building. It helps them learn to project their feelings onto the paper. And whether it's Marines or civilians who come in, Malia wants them to enjoy being creative. They will learn anything from pen and ink to pencil sketching to charcoals, painting, uh, down to some technical things as well. And they'll learn how to apply that to help their emotional needs. The space also features some of Malia's works for sale as well as painted furniture. I think it's a dream come true for her. She has been a dreamer all her life, and now it's coming to fruition to have her own place to express herself and help others. And that's what's at the heart of the borrowed artist, helping others, especially military members and their families. My whole family's military, all my, my nieces and nephews and my father and my husband were all in the service, and they all paid the price, and so they never had anything available to them like this, so it's fabulous. In the local areas, we don't have a lot of arts and culture available for not just our, our military, but our rural communities, and it's very important. Um, it's very rewarding when I was working on base, helping the Marines and, and working with the Marines, and to see the need that they had to find an outlet for the stressors of military life, and that became a very uh, good way for them to heal on the inside is by creating on the outside. And as for the name, The Borrowed Artist, Malia says it came to her through her teaching. She says those she teaches are borrowing her for a certain amount of time to help them be more creative. Do you have an idea for a future People in Places segment? If so, send Ken an email or connect with him on Twitter or Facebook.